Hello everyone, you would have heard of different kinds of EV policies but I can assure you that the EV policy that I am going to present to you today coming from Chandigarh is definitely the most controversial EV policy that you would have ever heard. Stay with us because not only do we need your comments and your thoughts on this policy but we also want you to be aware and prepared in case this policy has a spillover effect into your state. So this policy in a nutshell is that the Chandigarh government has stopped registering petrol two-wheelers. From now on, Chandigarh will only be registering electric two-wheelers. No more petrol two-wheelers can be registered in the state of Chandigarh. Now let's tell you about it. So first of all, any petrol two-wheeler that was sold after February 10 cannot be registered in this financial year. Now the financial year will extend only until 31 March 2023. After that, people can start registering their vehicles but the second thing is that is open only for the next 9 month which is 31 December 2023. In this calendar year starting from April till December is the only time when people can register their petrol two-wheelers. After this, once the calendar shifts over to the next year which is January 1, 2024 onwards, no form of petrol two-wheeler can be registered ever in Chandigarh. That is the policy that the state government has come up to save uh, the environment and they are saying for a greener city, a green Chandigarh. This is the policy that, has, that they have come up with. Now before we discuss the pros and cons of this EV policy and the possible workarounds, I would like to tell you about the government's stance on four-wheelers. For four-wheelers, they have issued a cap which means for 2024, 70% of the vehicles of the four-wheelers can be non-electric. 30% of it has to be electric vehicles which means after that 70% quota has been reached and it is very easy to determine from Bahan portal and number of vehicles that are getting registered. Once that 70% cap has been reached, any vehicle, any non-electric vehicle which would be probably petrol, diesel and even CNG, any non-electric vehicle that is bought in the year of let's say 2024 because now we are talking about 2024 will not be registered they have to wait for the next year 2025 and then there is another cap and the cap reduces the cap for petrol non-electric vehicles slowly reduces until it reaches zero so for 2024 the maximum cap that has been set is 70 percent for 2025 it is 64 uh, 60 percent and for 2026 it is 50 percent any vehicle that any non-electric vehicle that is sold beyond that cap cannot be registered in the state of Chandigarh. And the same applies for buses as well. The government is making sure that no bus sold after 2025, which is a diesel bus, can be registered in Chandigarh. Now this is the policy. Now let us talk about the pros and cons of this EV policy. Now, of course the government is coming with a good intention, thinking of uh, saving the environment and having a greener city, greener Chandigarh. And if you are watching this channel then you are also aware that when you keep an electric vehicle for long duration and you ride it for large distances then you are saving a lot of money, a lot of money in terms of the running costs, in terms of the maintenance and uh, spare parts availability. In general uh, you are also saving on road tax and re lower registration, you are getting subsidy etc. All of those benefits do come, financial benefits do come when you buy an electric four-wheeler or a two-wheeler but there is no denying the fact that the upfront cost of securing especially an electric four-wheeler is pretty high these days. There is a substantial difference between a petrol or a diesel and the electric counterpart. Now the cons of the policy does not just end with the financial aspect, it goes beyond that. For example, if you wanted to buy a two-wheeler then of course uh, when you want to buy a scooter then you have enough options in terms in the electric market but what if you want to buy a motorcycle then what options do you really have if you want to buy a motorcycle specifically a motorcycle and since the government is forcing you to buy electric so what options do you really have probably you will talk about revolt there is no revolt showroom in chandigarh okay in future they might open up but what if you don't like the way a revolt motorcycle looks you don't like the way rv400 looks what then what are the other options hop oxo torque motors and uh, all these models have not yet made their way into the indian market ultraviolet that's not that's not for everyone right that's for a very select segment of the society and even that has not penetrated so far so when someone wants to buy a motorcycle then the options safe to say are nil what about that? Okay, so there are two things you can do about it. First, you can buy the vehicle from areas surrounding Chandigarh and these are the workarounds that I am telling you, two workarounds actually. You can buy it from surrounding Chandigarh 
and then you can get it registered there but then when you come back into Chandigarh and you can only ride it for one year before you have to change the registration as well and now since the government has already stopped registering any sort of petrol two wheeler then it is safe to say that they will not allow a re-registration of vehicles from other states. So that is a concern but there could be a better way which is buy a vehicle from Chandigarh and get it registered with the central government which is to say the BH registration, the Bharat registration that is the way to go for Chandigarh people. Register your vehicle with the central government, there is no transaction happening with the state government of Chandigarh and you pay your taxes to the central government and that is how you get to ride it. But another factor is that when the state government has come down heavily on petrol two wheelers whether they will have other policies that will discourage the petrol two wheeler business altogether, the business of showroom, people who are selling petrol two wheelers, they might be going out of business, they might be wanting to shift over to some other forms of business. If that happens then the showrooms, the, the showrooms will not flourish as they do now and in that case the servicing of these vehicles in, in an authorized center might also be difficult or on the other hand servicing might boom that might be the only way for these uh, existing manufacturers uh, sorry not manufacture existing businesses to make good money. So all in all the entire landscape is going to change because of this EV policy which uh, whether you like it or not is definitely a little strict and I would invite you to have a discussion in the comment section and mind you like I said it is essential that you are aware of this and you are giving it a thought because like I said there could be a spillover effect to other states as well. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section and do subscribe to this channel for more such content. Go green, go electric.